Welcome to Middle Creek Wildlife Management Area, an over 6,000 acre area that is owned and operated by the Pennsylvania Game Commission, Pennsylvania's state wildlife agency that is entrusted to conserve and manage all wild birds and wild mammals. During your visit to Middle Creek, you have the opportunity to see hundreds of wildlife species and explore the many habitats that they call home throughout the year. But Middle Creek wasn't always a wildlife oasis. In order to understand why Middle Creek is here today, we'll have to go back in time over 100 years ago. Many of the wildlife you see today wasn't always easy to find in Pennsylvania. In the early 1900s, many wildlife species common to Middle Creek today, like waterfowl, birds of prey, and deer, were rare to find after unregulated hunting and habitat destruction occurred. After the formation of the Pennsylvania Game Commission in 1895, wildlife was protected, conserved, and managed based on a scientific approach. Using wildlife science allowed biologists to better understand populations and habitats to help species rebound. As decades ticked on, the Game Commission assisted in bringing countless species back from the brink, and in many cases, were able to allow regulated hunting of certain species throughout the state. The Game Commission was also able to secure over 1.5 million acres of land available for wildlife and public recreation, such as hunting. One of these areas of state game lands was the Pima Tuning Reservoir in the northwest part of the state. In the mid-1900s, hunters from all over Pennsylvania would flock to Pima Tuning for world-class waterfowl hunting. However, for a large portion of the population that resided in the eastern part of the state, Pima Tuning was a long trip for a single day's hunt. Many hunters began to ask the Pennsylvania Game Commission to create a Pima Tuning of the East in order to have closer waterfowl hunting opportunities. Utilizing a unique funding opportunity known as Project 70, a bond issued to state and local governments, as well as money from the Federal Land and Water Conservation Act, the Game Commission utilized over $5 million to acquire property to build a reservoir and wetlands for migrating waterfowl. Three locations were evaluated for the feasibility of such a project. A swamp near Quakertown, which is now protected by parts of Game Lands 139, an area along the Little Swatara Creek near Mount Etna, and finally, Middle Creek, which was adjacent to the existing State Game Lands 46, an area formerly acquired in the 1920s. In the end, Middle Creek was chosen since it was the most ecologically and hydrologically suited. The roughly 3,000 acre area of farmland was owned by 63 different families. Many of these families willingly sold their farms as the soil was not ideal for farming. Some families, however, were less inclined to sell their properties and through court proceedings, the properties were taken through eminent domain after the landowners were compensated for their loss. Land acquisition was completed in 1972. While farmland often gets converted to housing developments, shopping centers, and warehouses, in this case, these farms were dedicated to become a haven for wildlife. After legal challenges and further financial assistance from Project 500, the next challenge was filling the main impoundment, or lake, and establishing a residential population of Canada geese. In 1971, the main impoundment was built, and by the beginning of 1972, the first waters flowed over the spillway. Construction of the visitor center also began and concluded at this time. All was open to the public by 1973. The future was still uncertain. Would Middle Creek's habitat attract wildlife? Would it be better suited than nearby lakes such as Blue Marsh or Lake Ontolani? Would it serve as a thriving Pima tuning of the East? 
As the humming of machinery subsided on the property, the birds, mammals, and many other wildlife began to arrive as soon as human activity declined. Middle Creek hosted its first Lottery Canada goose hunt in 1974 to 25 hunters. Uncommon tundra swans first appeared in 1974, followed by snow geese shortly after that. Numbers of snow geese started small, then ramped up to the thousands, tens of thousands, and are well over 100,000 today during their spring migration. Nearly 25% of the eastern population of snow geese are thought to stop over at Middle Creek. Bald eagles, critically endangered at the time, were first seen in 1974, and the first young was fledged in a nest in 1998. Many other species followed, and today about 67% of the state's recorded bird species can be seen at one time or another utilizing Middle Creek. It's no wonder why in 2010, Middle Creek was designated as a globally important bird area for its important role in waterfowl migration. It's also listed as an important mammal area due to its diverse and undisturbed predator-prey dynamics. This diversity of wildlife can be attributed to the unique habitat management practices that includes prescribed fire in native fields of grasses and wildflowers, habitat improvement timber cuts, resulting in both young and mature forests, the manipulation of water levels of wetlands, and the use of interspersed agricultural crops. Diverse habitat results in diverse wildlife. Many areas of Middle Creek are closed to public access, which allows wildlife to breed and thrive undisturbed by people, vehicles, and drones. Due to the unique funding sources that contributed to acquiring and creating the lands for Middle Creek compared to other state game lands, Middle Creek offers other outdoor recreational opportunities in addition to hunting. Outdoor enthusiasts can also enjoy wildlife photography, bird watching, hiking, picnic areas, fishing, and limited non-motorized boating. There's a lot to choose from in Middle Creek, including over 10 hiking trails covering 20 miles, including a section of the Horseshoe Trail that runs from Valley Forge to the Appalachian Trail north of Harrisburg. Middle Creek is also a center of environmental education for the Pennsylvania Game Commission. Every year, hundreds of students come through the doors of the visitor center and explore the grounds. Thousands more come for the various annual events, such as National Hunting and Fishing Day, the Wildlife Art Show, monthly educational programs, and of course, the spring waterfowl migration, when hundreds of thousands of snow geese, swans, and other waterfowl species descend on Middle Creek. Middle Creek still offers its popular but limited waterfowl hunting opportunities today, as well as permitted deer hunts to help manage deer numbers on the wildlife management area, while also offering a quality hunting experience. The Visitor Center expanded in 2022 with the addition of the agency's Conservation Heritage Museum, which reflects the Game Commission's history of conservation from the era of exploitation to today. Along the lines of conservation, many scientific activities, such as bird banding and other biological surveys occur at Middle Creek on a regular basis to help continue the mission of the Pennsylvania Game Commission. Middle Creek is proof that big ideas and hard work can result in great success, but not without some sacrifices. Although Middle Creek's beauty and rich natural resources flourish today, there are still many external pressures that threaten it. Invasive species outcompete and harm many of our native species, 
single plant species can completely overtake areas that once hosted many native species. Invasive carp can destroy aquatic habitats and nearly eliminate native aquatic vegetation and other native fish. Wildlife face many diseases that can be difficult to control, such as chronic wasting disease in deer. The unprotected lands around Middle Creek, which provide food for migrating waterfowl, can easily be paved over and lost forever to development, and protecting such vital areas will always require cooperation with the public. Middle Creek's future is never guaranteed, but as long as there are people who care and support science-based conservation of wildlife and their habitats, generations will have the same enjoyment that early visitors and hunters had when the first Canada goose hunt was held in 1974. If you don't know what makes Middle Creek special to you, now's the time to find out. As you explore, ponder to yourself, what will Middle Creek's legacy be? What will yours be?